really, really quite amusing. I mean, the truth about little Michael Corinthos is right under his father's nose. Sonny might stumble upon it and find out that you're behind that whole nasty incident. But I can understand that by now you're anxious to start the game. So I made the first clue a really easy one. The first DVD is hidden in the window to your soul. <laughs> I mean, that's presuming that you have a soul. So, we'll find out soon enough. Psycho. Psycho. I don't know what you're looking for. Aren't you supposed to be landing a shipment? Okay, I confess, he caught me. I was measuring the drapes. With your bare hands? <laughs> it doesn't have to be accurate, exactly. Yeah. Just yet. So, uh, it's just a warning. I mean, I'm not going to make it all the way through winter with those curtains. They look like they belong in a funeral parlor. You are a much better liar than that. I would be lying if I said I like those drapes. You seem a little rattled. Not that I blame you, because, you know, I understand why you would wait till I was gone to do what you had to do, but I'll save you the trouble. You're not going to find anything. I'm not looking for anything. You really think I'd put a camera in such an obvious place? Not even you are paranoid enough to put security cameras inside the house. Or maybe you're too paranoid for it. I mean, you you never know what kind of incriminating evidence could end up on that camera. You never know. I'm sensing a shift in our so-called relationship <laughs> again. You're freezing me out. Could it be that it has something to do with you and Kate? I have nothing to say about Kate. I'm concerned about me. One minute, you're cooking for me and kissing me and acting all charming. And the next thing I know, you're you're all suspicious. You're, Make up your mind. You're right. No, you're, hey, you're absolutely right. When I walked in here, you, you asked about the shipment and um, it landed with no trouble from Jason. Meaning he just let it go by? He knew. He knew about it, and he just stood there. And uh, well, didn't do anything. What happened was it was it was uh, Michael's birthday yesterday, and uh, he he didn't want to push it. Yet. I'm sorry, I didn't. I I had no idea. My son's in a coma, tied to a bed for the rest of his life. Puts things in perspective. Is there anything I can do? I'd like the drapes. Leave them alone. Ah. Window to my soul. Window to my soul. sure are jumpy these days. It wouldn't be the way you keep sneaking up on me like that. Well, I thought my timing was impeccable. Somebody just left. You okay? Fine. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You seem a little tense. I'm married to Sonny Corinthos. I'm allowed to be a little tense. Yesterday was Michael's birthday. Sonny went to see him. Oh. I'm sure that wasn't a happy experience for Sonny or for you. Yeah, we're not exactly getting along great lately. But I didn't expect this marriage to be easy, so... Well, good thing you're not going to have to, uh... It's not going to last forever. What do you mean? Do you know something I don't know? What do you mean, I won't have to stay in it for very long? What do you mean by that? Well, it's nothing new. In fact, you can 
could walk out that door right now and the deal would probably still hold. What makes you say that? Come on, Claudia. Sonny, Sonny's running the Zakara interest. Your father's very pleased with him. So it doesn't matter what I do? That... That's not what I was trying you to say. You don't have any idea what it's like to have no power in a family. I think I have some idea. Why? Because your father wasn't very caring when you were growing up? You had a decent enough childhood. You sure as hell have plenty of money, and you had a world-class education, I'm didn't you? I'm sure it looks that way to you. This marriage is giving me real power for the first time in my life, and there's no way in hell I'm going to give that up. This marriage can be difficult, but Sonny treats me with respect most of the time, and that's more than I can say for most of the men in my life. So do I fall into that category? No, but I haven't known you for very long, and there are plenty of ways that you can use and abuse me. I just wanted you to have a better life. You could prove that you care about me. You know. Yeah, how's that going to work? If Daddy has some larger plan, you could let me in on it. You could tell me. Look, even if it were true, why would Anthony tell me about it? To pit you against Sonny. To make you feel powerful. I know how my father's mind works. If there's some kind of double cross in the works here, huh? Let me in on it. Maybe to do away with Sonny altogether and leave me a grieving widow oh, who yeah, needs you, company? You, you got some sort of overactive imagination here. All the same. You can't trust my father. I know how he thinks, and I know what drives you. You want to be top dog. No matter what my father told you, no matter what he's saying, everything he does is for the love of his son. Mm -hmm. That's the only person that he loves. And everything he does, Rick, is to make sure that there's an organization for Johnny to take over. Johnny is when out the time of the family right. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. I wouldn't. But even if that's the case, and John is no longer an issue, you can't trust my father. I know how to outmaneuver him. So, if you tell me the plan, maybe you and I, maybe you and I could work out some kind of a, a side deal together. anything important enough for you to, you know, steal? <laughs> yeah, I do. As a matter of fact, because you're getting careless. Yeah. Look at that. I'm a world-class criminal. You want to divorce me now or later? All right, you know what? What? I shouldn't have gone off like that. I was out of line. Yes, you were. If this arrangement is going to work, I have to trust you, at least to a certain extent. Well, I think trust goes both ways. You respect my privacy, and I'll respect yours. Yeah, since we're on the subject of privacy, okay? This, what you're doing, sneaking around, all that. Well, this, I'm this not, is not sneaking a good thing. around, it's that's it. I welcome you into my home. I want you to be comfortable. I can't have you ransacking my house. Every time I turn my back. If you want to know where something is, all you got to do is ask. One other thing. 
if I find out that you're lying about anything or trying to hide something from me, believe me, sooner.